Morning YouTubers, morning Gunners. Good afternoon Gunners, good afternoon YouTubers. Good evening YouTubers, good evening Gunners. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the vlog on the lightweight stuff. I'm just preparing you in stages so I don't overwhelm you with a whole bunch of information. So today we're gonna be using the Blair Spot Weld Cutter. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works, how easy it makes your life. I just did a test run on it, it works phenomenal. So uh, prepare yourself. Let's have a lot of fun with this video, and uh, fat girl's losing weight. All right, guys, so spot weld removal kit. I did a test run on it here to see the do's and don'ts, and I figured it out. So the most crucial part of it is they tell you that this little pilot at the tip of it, wait for it to focus up, is your guide, right? It really doesn't work well if you don't punch it. You have to get a center punch and then make the, make the mark for... The pilot to ride along it or else it'll just walk all over you but look how nice and clean that is so I'm gonna do this one on demonstration I'm gonna do this as a demonstration on this side and you guys will have it right so your uh, your drill obviously your spot weld removal kit and some three-in-one oil the reason I tell you to get the oil is these are gonna get expensive and it's going to take long to get them. The, the kit only comes with three. So try to save them by just using a $2 oil or lubricant. So let's get to work. All right, so there's a few things I really want to get out of the way real quick. Because after this, we won't cover how to remove this. Um, lowest setting. Put it on to drill and leave it at one. You're not doing this fast. This is tedious because it's going to come out nice and clean. Okay? Take your time okay so the first thing we do is use the center punch now we don't do it once we want to make a nice groove for the for the bit right one two three four we have a nice groove we're set to go excuse me we'll lube up the we'll lube up the bit just a little touch just because we're trying to save as much as we can on using this. So nice and easy, you don't really push too hard. Real easy. See, it's walking. I wasn't in the center. Right there, that's my center. Nice and easy. Just let the bit do the work and it will tell you when it's ready to come out. I'm not even giving it way too much force. I'm just letting the blade do its job and cut. And this is going to look phenomenal when we're done. Alright, that's what I got for pushing a little bit more. Okay, center it. Sometimes you can hear them just pop. A little bit more lube. one's done that's it it's out so uh, I don't want to bore you I'll do the other three and right when I'm about to take it off I'll show you exactly how it should look you'll actually you'll actually hear it stop cutting because the pilot is spring-loaded done finished Everywhere you see these spot welds, you can do the same thing so everyone can look nice and clean. That's it. We didn't kill ourselves. We, we drilled four times and it's out. So we'll do that to everything that has a spot weld, such as this guy right here. Hold on. Where is it? Right there. 
Hope you're enjoying it. So as I'm removing this seat mount right here, we won't be using this, obviously, because we're just, we're going to never have a passenger side seat. So we're moving this entire rail right here and this piece right here with the spot weld removal as uh, 40 is removing the, the wire harness that runs to the front all the way to the back for the, you know, the tail light, third brake light and stuff like that. So we're actually going to trim all this wiring right there. We don't need a lot of it. We're just going to need the tail lights. That's basically it. So he's removing the harness on that side. Uh, he's removing for the rear windshield wiper. The line that's garbage for him. You can throw it out. And uh, yeah, we're moving right along with this. Um, once we're once we're completed here and removing some more spot welds, we'll move on to the gas tank. Take that guy out. And then I'll show you guys a little bit more. Enjoy the vlog. Yo, 40, say what's up to the YouTube people, bro. What's up? Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. God bless you. God bless you. So what I noticed was that if you put a flathead to wherever you're, you're using the spot weld removal kit, it just makes it a bit easy because you put tension on the piece you actually want to get rid of. So now I don't want to sit here and and remove these two spot welds because that it's, it's hard to reach. So once we have it to where we could just bend it up and down, We'll just do that. We'll save some time. Maybe we'll move it back and forth. And now we don't have to sit here and drill all day. Look at that. Nice and easy. We're done. More lightweight and more money found. Keep it going. I got 40 doing this one right here. I just taught him how to use it. And... I took off this side over here, I took out the middle, I got everything right there. So now 40's gonna almost, he's just got one more spot weld to get rid of. You have to be patient with it, you have to be patient. He's almost done. You'll be able to mark this out. Okay. Oof, I that out happy. See if you can bang it out. See if you can bang it out. Go ahead, brother. Just hit it to the, hit it to your side here, that way, and see if it moves off the uh, spot weld. Go ahead. There you go. All right, that's it. All right, all right. Now just bend it up and down. Beautiful. You see, you didn't bend the body of the car, and you removed it nice and clean. Good job. And that's it. That's basically what we're doing today. We're using the spot weld removal and we're just getting stuff out of the way. So I can't take this bar off yet because I have to use the dry ice to remove the sound deadening. We took out the trunk. Yeah, you could take out all those clips because we're just going to cut through all that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So remember, we're being patient here. This is our car, you know what I mean? This is the car we care about. This is the one that's going to represent your name. Take your time. Be patient, man. It's not a race. It's not a race. I'm telling you, it's a marathon. So we're getting, we're going to give this away to a gunner today. He's going to come pick it up for free of charge. Carbon wing, the seats, everything. Panels, everything. Hit me up in the DM yesterday and said, what am I doing with it? I said, come pick it up for free. No worries, brother. The movement helps everyone involved. Turn over to Chili Willies. Uh, this is where I normally get my dry ice. It's only a few blocks away from the garage. Um, yeah, guys, I don't know where to get you dry ice. You're going to have to Google it around your area. I've had a couple of people on Instagram ask me, like, hey, where do I get dry ice from? Just just Google dry ice around your way. And, uh, yeah, you pay by the pounds right there in the corner. Man, this CRV sounds like crap on camera, right? Yeah, so we're here at Chili Willie's with, what is this, Harriet and Riverdale? 
Yeah, Harriet and Riverdale in Yonkers, New York. And they, uh, yeah, they sell dry ice. What is it, 25 pounds, $40? Perfect, yep, I'll take 25 pounds. Dry ice, do not touch it with your bare hands. Do not touch it with your bare hands. Chop it up, put in the they're gonna put it in the bag for me and then I'll just I'll just hammer it down when I get to the garage. So I'm back at the garage. Um, I got my dry ice in here, and I'll tell you one thing. I swear to God, this thing is cold. It's super cold, man. And while I was driving, I can feel the back of my neck, and it was in the trunk, actually. You know, you can feel that there's cold back there, like there's a drift of wind or some kind of cold behind me. So I'm going to lay it down. Remember, gloves is crucial. Do not touch the dry ice with your hand. YouTube, remember I warned them. So I got about, what did I get? 25 pounds. I'm going to spread it on the dyno matting. Look, we're going to have to break it apart. So let me just try to get as much as I can with the bag. Oh, closed. Well, in the bag. And then I'll bang it in the car. All right, or I can do that with. Bag bust. So we'll just lay it in here real quick. And all we're going to let this do is sit on the dyno matting. We'll break it up in more pieces. I'll show you guys in a second once I can move. But yeah, 25 pounds I think is perfect for an EG. Every bit counts. It is expensive. So use it. And you'll actually start hearing the dyno matting cracking and lifting up. So the glue is freezing and then getting off of the surface that we're trying to get rid of. So I'm gonna bang this, I'm gonna bang this with a hammer, spread it throughout the entire car, and I'll get right back to you. There it is in all its beauty. If you listen carefully, you can hear it cracking. It's working. So what you want to pay attention to is this. You don't want it on the metal. You'll be wasting money. Not on the metal. On here. On the dyno matting. See, everything is on the matting. Nothing is really on the metal. So you do that throughout the entire car. Wherever you see this matting, see, look at that. It's already lifting up. Look, look at this. So easy. Look at that. Beautiful. We're going to shed all that weight off of this car. And then that's it. Some people have a theory of using it with alcohol. I don't. I just let it do its job like this. And I just sit back and relax. But it's working great. I got some back here on this guy. Every little bit counts, man. I know you guys are waiting for me to start cutting, but I'm giving you the right procedures to do so you can do it nice and neat and nice and clean. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. All right, guys, so we're coming up on, uh, maybe I'm just a little anxious, but we're coming up on about 30 minutes. I could tell it's ready because I stopped hearing the cracking. So, something sharp, you could probably just go into the corners, 
check it out lifts right up super simple super easy um yeah, real easy now in some cases it might get a little tough you just bang just bang nice not with a, a nice rubber mallet because you ain't trying to mess up your stuff you just bang Check this out. Comes right up. Nice and easy. Lifts right up. And that's it. That's how you get rid of the sound deadening. So you let the dry ice, you let the dry ice do as much work as it can. Remember, always gloves, guys. Um, yeah, apply the dry ice everywhere you see sound deadening. You don't have to sit there. Some people try to cheap it out and just sit there with a flathead and a hammer and then they put holes in their floor. For what? $40. Forty dollars. Done. Now you might want to take some of this time and just move around some of the extra dry ice you have in different places. Just, just leave it there. You don't. This is money. You don't want to waste it. So now we know this section doesn't need anything, right? We move all the dry ice into different places of the car. So it, come, it literally comes right up. It comes right up. And that's it. have it guys all the sound deadening is gone I got a little carried away and just did everything so I put everything in this pile right here that's about how much weight we're saving off man I'm tired it was uh, it was uh, it was pretty tough today it's been a long day but we got a lot done I'm gonna let you guys catch up a little bit this will be the end of the vlog but man, this dry ice is a miracle. It works spectacular. It works great. It works great. Just apply it to your car. Even if it's a street car, just rip off your carpet. Take that off and trust me, you will feel, you will feel some difference, trust me. But this is basically all all the weight we shut it off. All right, guys, so I'm gonna sign out right now. We are moving along and we're doing great. We're all working together. We're all on, we should be all caught up to about the same point after this. I got a pretty hectic week coming up. I leave to Vegas Thursday night. I'm going to a bachelor party. And uh, I think it's going to be my first vacation in a very long time since coming back to racing. So I'm excited to get out with my friends. I'm excited to try new things in Vegas. And um, yeah, maybe just leave cars alone for two, three days. So I should be back kicking ass Monday. But uh, I'll be posting another vlog tomorrow. Or maybe I should take my Let me know in the comments. Should I take my camera to Vegas? Should I vlog Vegas and let you guys know what I'm going to do? Let me know. Write it down below. 
like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for all your support. I see every bit of it. Thank you for the thumbs up. Please reshare the channel. I'm really trying to grow. I won't even lie to you. I want to grow. I want to become one of the top Honda YouTubers on the planet. I, I have so much knowledge to share with everyone. It doesn't cost you nothing to follow me, man. You know what I mean? You're not paying for nothing. So thank you all so much for the support, man. I hope everyone is watching this uh, is in good health. God bless you. God bless your families, man.